السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today we'll talk about one of my journeys inside the United States of America. I was traveling in 1995 to Columbus, Ohio, a small a, a, a town called or a city called Columbus in a state called Ohio. And uh, during that time, 1995 was the beginning of the conflict or the war between the Chechen and the rebel and the, gov- the Russian government as well as the end of the era of the uh, uh, Bosnia war at that time. So I was boarding uh, the plane and I went to take my seat in one of the middle seats between the windows, the window and the corridor. And I always at that time used to uh, read uh, the books about the character of uh, Hazrat Umar ibn Abd Aziz, the Khalifa, and as well as the raqaiq for heaven and the, the characteristic of the people of heaven and the heaven itself. I sat in the middle seat. Okay, I, my intention was to raise funds for, for Chechnya. I sat in the middle seat uh, at the time and I opened the book talking about the, 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 the story, the, the life of, of Umar ibn Abd Aziz and his characters. And uh, so I was reading, and I found one of the people ne- sitting next to me was an okay, American white uh, gentleman looking uh, uh, inquisitively at uh, the book uh, I was reading. Then I stopped reading, and then I started talking to him. I said, said, what is this kind of language? I said, this is the Arabic language. Uh, where do you read it? You read from left to right? I said, yeah, for, not from, no, from right to left. How? Top down or bottom up? I said, top down. And he was very inquisitive, asking questions regarding the language itself. And Allah guided me, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to start talking to him about heaven and his place in heaven and what he's going to, uh, what, what he's going to, to, to see in heaven. And while I was talking to him, I just mentioned a date which I told him that the angel before you, you enter heaven will ask you what you have done on such a date, such an hour, and such a month, and such a year. And he was shocked. And it seemed that he had done something naughty or wrong uh, at that day. And when he was shocked, I was trying to ask him, what's wrong? Something wrong with you? He said, no, I said, no, 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 no. He was trying to be very, very defensive. But here, this, the story is who put this time, date, month, and year on the tip of my tongue is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after we, the, 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 the flight was landing or the airplane was landing, the airplane was landing, he went, he went ahead of me and I found him talking in a very exciting way to fellow American about myself. I don't know what he was talking but he was... Uh, pointing at me, looking at me, and talking to the people as if I am a saint or a holy man from heaven. The moral of the story is your intention of the travel. Your intention of the travel as a man or a woman is that you are going to try to raise fund for the victims of war in Chechnya or the victim of war in Bosnia. That's why Allah can put at the tip of your tongue something nobody else will be able to put to make the change. So these sentences or these words being put on the table of my tongue by Allah SWT to make the change inside the heart of this man and to give him the guidance inshallah. So switch on the good intention. Allah will switch on his knowledge on the tip of your tongue. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.